we start a new section about relationships. So after we identified and created all new activities in the schedule, it's time now to link all activities so we can have the overall schedule. To do that, we will go to relationship and each activity will have a predecessor and successors as well. So if I want to link excavation and the compaction together, to do that, I will click on excavation and I want to have the compaction as a successor for the excavation. So compaction will happen after excavation. So you click on excavation, go to successors panel, click assign and double click on compaction. You can also remove the relationship from here. Another way to link the relationship is to go to compaction and click on the plus sign here. Then click closed. And you can customize the columns in the successors panel. You want to show what attributes you want to see. Free float or but basically these are, are enough for at the moment. You want to see the start and finish for the successor relationship, the lag driving or not. We will explain the driving part later. So we will explain the relationship type here and the lag so you can have finish to start relationship which means the compaction will start after the finish of the excavation so after you link this relationship you click on schedule here or f9 as a shortcut click schedule so i have this activity here finished on 19th of august 20th of august is a weekend or a holiday so the compaction started right after the excavation the first working day after the finish of excavation so this is a compaction but what if i want to have overlap between excavation and the compaction i don't want to wait until the completion of excavation in order to start compaction i want to start maybe halfway so after five days i can start compaction in parallel so you can have start to start relationship which means this activity will start at the same time of excavation. But I want to have some lag, some delay. So I want to wait five days after the excavation started before I start the compaction. So this is where you want to adjust the lag. So make it five days. To translate it, the compaction will start five days after the start of the excavation. Click schedule. So now you have 14 it's six days but we talked about the calendar and maybe one day here is because of holiday so another type also is the finish to finish so i want to relate finishes so i want to have the compaction finish five days after the finish of excavation so i can complete in remaining work for example i want to keep also five days click finish so if i finished here 19th of august I will have 25th of August as a completion. And the duration here will be adjusted. The start date will be adjusted accordingly. So Promovera will recognize that I need to finish the compaction five days after the finish of excavation. Then backward, I will subtract seven days, the original duration. Then I will determine the start date. It is common also to have mix of relationships, start to start and finish to finish. I created the relationship from here from the assigned part another shortcut also is you click on this activity the predecessor then click control then click on compaction so this means I clicked on excavation first it means that this is a predecessor later I have the compaction which means it is the successor so right click link activities now you will have a new activity by default it is finished to start but you can edit it if you want relationship type you have a start to start and also so you have five start lag and you see how the program will schedule it for you and if you have 10 days also equal then you will have exactly five days here and five days in lag start and five days in lag of finish okay. another also relationship is the start to finish but it is not common at all. Start to finish is, is basically the opposite of finish to start. So 
if I want to link a finished start relationship between excavation and compaction. So I click on excavation, control on my keyboard, click on compaction, right click, link activities, then I will have a new activity finished to start. So let's click schedule, finish to start. So the start finish relationship is the opposite. It means that if the compaction is the predecessor and excavation is the successor, I will link with a start to finish relationship. But it doesn't make sense. You know, no one thinks that this way. I think about excavation followed by compaction. I have to finish, finish to start relationship. I wait for the finish of this activity so I can start a new activity. So this is how we normally think. So start to finish is no one uses it, you know, so just don't depend on that. So this is all types of relationships. We now explained the relationship type and the leg. In the next video, we will talk about how to delete and dissolve activities.